happen now, though? We've got a raise from Steve O'Dwyer. Byron defended his big blind. Pretty good flop here for Byron. Continuation bet of King Queen offsuit. Doesn't have anything but two over cards. Byron's not going to fold. Is he going to check raise and blow off the best hand? They both have pretty deep stacks. That looks like calling chips. Byron is going to just call here. These are two of the biggest stacks in this tournament colliding here. It's another pretty good card here for Byron. He takes a commanding lead this hand. I think this was still the end of the 816 level. I don't think this has moved up yet to 1020k. I don't think O'Dwyer is going to bet here again. That is a card that kind of... Well, he is reaching for chips. I'm not sure I'm in love with this. I guess he's just trying to blow Kaverman off of any hand. Yeah, just trying to push him off like a 3-5, a 4-5, but I don't think even... I don't know if those hands are even folding. I'm not excited I've because hands like 4-7, seven, 6-7, seven, they're not going to fold when they pick up a straight draw now. 140,000. Maybe O'Dwyer is thinking about betting again on the river. Yeah, maybe he's planning on bet bet betting here, but that would not... I mean, probably it not work. It shouldn't work, but we don't know. Maybe an ace would do it, but let's see what Kaverman's going to do. I expect him to just just, just check all here. I think he's going to just check all. His hand because is strong enough. his hand's pretty good. If he is behind, he doesn't want to put the rest of his stack in and become one of the small stacks. Yeah, if he moves all in and gets called, he is not going to be happy with the result of that. Usually, if he moves all in and gets called, he will be behind and needs to catch up. So I would like the safe play especially as one of the chip leaders in the tournament. Now, if Byron does call and the river is a non-diamond card above a nine, I would love to see what Steve does there. I hope O'Dwyer bets a lot of scare cards because otherwise I don't really like his turn bet. I just feel it's not going to get through too often. So Byron is in motion here, heading to the river. That's going to be a call here. Already a pretty huge pot. Wow, that's a pretty good card here for Steve. Three on the end. Byron has already checked. Well, if uh, Steve was trying to represent pocket jacks, pocket queens, or kings or aces, this is the card to do it on. Yeah, I mean, if Byron has a hand like 4-5 or, or any kind of just a diamond, you know, two diamonds in his hand, 6-7, this would put a ton of pressure on. I mean, if O'Dwyer bets here, I expect Kaverman to never fold here. I, I definitely think that, I mean, Steve knows he almost certainly can't win if he checks. I mean, Steve's thinking like, man, I had the plan to follow through three barrels, but the three is kind of a weird car to do it because he might, Caverman might be able to you know, convince himself a random pair is good now. It looks good from the big blind's point of view. Man, Steve could even shove here on the end with almost, you know, a little bit more, but basically a pot size bet. I put a lot of pressure on Byron. He is going to fire again. Steve is going to bet here, and Byron is going to think about this. 300,000 That here. is a big bet. That is definitely a big bet here on the end. Whenever you see someone bet, bet, bet into you on this low board, it's, it's kind of scary to call. For sure. It looks easy from our point of view, but if you look from Gabriel, he can't see O'Dwyer's cards. He's like, gosh, this looks like... Steve has put together a very legitimate story. Story Raise is... Raise preflop, bet, bet, bet. Yeah. And, of course, Steve could have even a hand like nines in this spot probably and feel pretty good about it. Yeah, I mean, it's a big bet. It's like it looks, you know, if he had a strong hand, he probably would bet this way as well, trying to make it look like a bluff. He does actually have a bluff. Kaverman's trying to figure it out. Tough spot here. Now, of course, we can see that <laughs> all Byron has to do is say the call, and it would be this probably get pushed to him, but... This is a difficult spot here for Byron. Can't blame him for thinking this one through. If Byron calls and is right, this is a 1.1 million chip pot. Over a quarter of the chips in play in the pot alone, if Byron were to call. I mean, if Byron calls, he's put himself in great position to win this tournament. Yeah, for sure. He would have it. I mean... If he calls, he would have almost half the chips in play, six-handed. I mean, ever since I got to his final table, we have not seen a bet, bet, and bet again. So this is news for Gaverman as, as of this level. I do think this was the first hand of 10, 20,000. I was told this was the first hand when the blinds went up. Regardless, it's still a big bet. 
three hundred thousand. You can see that stair. That stair is rocking here, unflinching. You really can read almost nothing from Steve. He's got a great yeah. I mean, table image. If that was me, my heart be racing. It's all my heart's already outside my yeah. body. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, an ice cold, ice cold stare right there. Can't blame Byron for thinking this one through. It'd be a great time for a shot clock tournament. Man, he'd be put in a tough decision. We saw him have to make a tough decision like that against Jason Mercier, and he got that one wrong. He was bluffed off that hand there. This hand has taken a pretty long time at this point. This hand's got to be over 10 minutes at this point. I think a player might have just called the clock, but I'm not sure. I mean, they definitely have their right who. to call the clock. Yeah, I mean, it would have to be Fabian. I don't think Connor would ever do it. I'm not. I'm not sure. It just is a tough decision. Action on Byron. His hand Big is a little here. bit under underrepresented because he probably he did turn the pair, although it doesn't matter that much. It's kind of the same as if he had six five. Yeah, I mean, because Steve wouldn't have Steve doesn't have eight seven here. He's probably not betting three hundred thousand with eight seven. So Kaverman's yeah, only beating a pure bluff right now. He beats a bluff, and that's it. The question is: Is Steve bluffing here often enough for Byron to to show a profit? <laughs> Byron doesn't seem thrilled about this spot here. I mean, it's a two hundred fifty thousand dollar buy-in tournament. He's Ooh, gonna let he's gonna this one lay go. it down. Nice move, Steve O'Dwyer gets it done. This is why this guy wins tournaments. We'll see it soon, anyways. He shows it. Shows the king queen.